Well, after losing our last two televised games by an aggregate score of 9-0, we got back to our winning ways. We beat Paris FC 2-1 thanks to goals by Anjoran and Gasparic. We beat Brest 2-0 thanks to a brace of goals by Gasparic. We beat Rennes 4-2. This was a fun game. Police 3 had a goal, and Jordan had a goal, Gasparic had a goal, and Comier had a goal. Now they had Vallejo sent off in the 88 minute, but by that time the game was already over. This was just one of those games where, you know, it probably wasn't our best performance, but we were really solid in front of the goal. And I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is going on with all the yellow cards because I haven't changed anything tactically. You know, I haven't gone in and made everybody tackle harder or anything like that. We drew with Real Hispalis, 1-0. Moreno scored. Zanga, we clawed the drawback. Zanga got a 94th minute. I'm not going to call it a miracle goal because it was well-deserved, but, you know, the game probably should have been 93 minutes long, if we're being honest. And then against PSG, PSG did PSG things. Mbappe had a brace of goals in five minutes. It's after Carmo scored in the third minute, and then they just kind of sat back and said hey come at us and we did and then jordan got a goal in the 32nd minute and that was pretty much it because you know we had four shots and one on target and the next year 0.58 they had 21 shots and seven on target the best team money can buy in france that's about all you can say about that so today we're going to play bordeaux and then we're going to play sporting in the europa league i gotta catch up on the news here they're expecting us to win against bordeaux and i can see why because bordeaux is in the relegation zone they're not having a good season Gaspark leads us with 11 goals and 7.63 rating. I got one, two, three, four players with three assists each. Gaspark has three players in the match awards. Uh, one, two, three players with four yellow cards, and Demir and Tome each have a red card. That is mildly frustrating. So I said it before, and I don't know what it is. I think it's like an FM Jellico team. I could come to like the most disciplined team in the league, in the world. Ever. And a season later, without me touching anything, I'll set my formation, I won't touch anything else. We'll be top three in yellow cards. I've had saves like it I have, I've had saves like this before. I had a pal save one time where like the team had 137 yellow cards in a season. And we like beat the second place team by 40 something yellow cards. It was absolutely Well, disheartening is one word for it. It was just head scratching was another. And I don't know. You know, part of me is convinced that the game has, like, some subroutines that it does. And the game is stalled out. I don't know why, because I hit the wrong button. First time of the game, Padilla sends it into the box. Someone was fouled. And Winston got pushed. Coming up for this. Joran. Plots it away nicely. A goal up, a minute in. Okay. Maybe it's understandable why Bordeaux is in the relegation zone with six points. I said that out loud, didn't I? I said that out loud, didn't I? Ferreira. Oh, he gives the ball away. Andre up to Polistri. One taps it to Padilla. Padilla loses the ball. Chetty stops it from going out of bounds. Gives it to Debaugh. Avez. Bodiger. Back to Akbar. Opkar. Opkar. Ferguson, Bodiger, Spearings, Agba, beats Madston, and he pushes it wide right. Pick this up a positive here. Got some encouragement at the guys. Spearings, Karan, dispossessed, and Joran, and Amore, long pass across the field, police tree. Back to Tomei. Tomei's got help in the box, and Joran's there, and he gets the header. It was kind of a sharp angle, but it worked for him. That is a brace of goals for him. 15 minutes into the game. Ferreira on the throw and again. Gives the ball away. Altair heads it to Polistri. Padilla across the field. And Joran. Oh, the ball is hit too hard. Spearings centers it to Fer Oh, he gives the ball away. Ferreira misplayed it. Padilla out to Tome. Tome dispossessed, but Polistri's there. Gets the ball to Tome. Back to Polistri. Pair. Andre. Up to Gaspark. He feeds Padilla. And Padilla left foots it high into the right corner. We just. And we're thumping him. Granted, it's probably not going to be an 8 0 thumping, but we're thumping him. But there's plenty of game left. Anything can happen. Daba. Marvez. 
Arveas runs between my defenders and he scores. Just like that. That was mildly frustrating on several, several levels. We go into halftime with a 3-1 lead. Nine shots, five on target. An XG at 2.27. Boys. Get, put another gear. No highlights this second half so far. We are about 62 minutes in, so we're going to make a couple of changes. We're going to bring Polistri off and bring on a Samba. We're going to get Gaspark off and bring on a Comier. Bring off Demir and bring on Sforza. Ferrer gives the ball away to Anjoran. Oh, what the heck that was. Anjoran gets the through pass, loses the ball. Opcar. Chetty. Lozano. Back to Akbar. He's challenged. Padilla steals the ball. Wheels around. Is he fouled? He was. It was just inside the box. Akbar fouled him. Abkar. Abkar. Jordan for his hat trick. And it's blocked by Samuel. Spearings knocks it away. Spearings takes it to the keeper who knocks it away. Well, and Jordan can get two, but he couldn't get a third. That's okay. Dia from distance. Samuel can't save it, but it bounces off the post. Padilla runs down the ball. Gets it to Inamore. Tome. Runs into his own man, but gets the ball to Andre. Samba tries feeding Padilla, but he hit it too hard. Samuel picks it up. And Whiteston. Pours it over to Inamore. Whiteston. Oh, it's hair. Keep away at this point. Out to Tome. Tome gives the ball away to Lozano. What is with his passing? He steals the ball back. Andre. Padilla loses the ball. Narvaez. There's a Pelly up into space. Norden's got no one in front of him except a Kubi. And he skirts around and puts it in for a goal. I used to think my defense was just bad. Now, after watching a few streamers and watching some videos and stuff like that, it's not me, it's the game. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's the middle of February. The update hasn't come out. And the defenders are playing, and the guys are doing stuff like that. Pome steals the ball back, crosses in. Padilla's there. Samuel and I stop. Bombs the ball forward. Altair heads it down. Sforza to Androin. Beats Padilla. Padilla knocks it oh, wide left. And we win. Barely, we win. It looks like we tried really, really hard to lose that game. That puts us back in first place, temporarily. I am not expecting that to last. Pagia shines as the player of the match, which is interesting because then Jordan had two goals and a missed goal, and he was actually fairly good on the offense. Save the game here, and then next comes Sporting. This ought to be a fun game. Yeah, so, what do we got here? Pagia... Out for blisters suffered in training. Three to eight days. Well, I'll pick a hell of a time to break in a new pair of shoes. Riedel's unregistered. Becker's unregistered. Boylan's unregistered. We get 12 subs. Half of them are probably going to be the youngsters. That is actually not that bad. Let's see here. Um, Barr was out injured. Bulls. Uh, Zanga we're going to want in. I need to get him more playing time. I just don't know how. I probably have to send him out on loan. But for the moment... He's Anjoran's primary backup. The police tree can also play the other side as well. I think I remember correctly. Yeah, he can. Maybe not as well. This is what we got. We're going to have a Kubi goal and Hoytzen Altair as the defensive backs. Inamori and Tome as the wing backs. Sforz and Andre as the midfielders. And Jorn and police tree as the attacking mids. Kasparik and Tome up top as the strikers. Everybody is mostly match fit. Couple guys on the lower side of good, but that is okay. Bed and Mamadi both get numbers. They both prefer number 11, and they're not getting it. Because they're both. We are hosting Sporting. I played them quite a bit in my Santa Clara save, which is on the blog, which is linked down below. 
they're a tough team. They've, they've got a great youth system. They've got just really good recruiting and scouting. They really know how to develop players and score goals like that. The uniforms, on the other hand, leave a little bit to be desired for me. Spark, Inamori, Kijukomie, Sforza loses the ball. The pair back to Rea. Marita gives the ball away. And Jordan gets Spark. That's here. Andre gives the ball away. Come on. Focus. Baumgartner. Pulls it up. Zopper's fouled in the Jesus. And Trinkow scores. Positive. Ben Hoisin, Sporza, long looping pass across the field to Police Street. Tome in the crowd. And he's fouled. Maybe he's going off to VAR. That's a hell of a run. Navarro fouled him. Is Navarro going off? You are kidding me. Rakovic, Navarro, Guzman, Marita. Navarro to Guzman, back to Rakovic. He holds the ball. To Zephyr, there's playing keep away at this point. Guzman, Marita, back to Arroyo. And Trincao gets away from everybody. Puts it across the front of the net. Kubi. Long ball towards Gaspar, who totally muffs it. Guzman to Arroyo, to Morita. Trincao to Nizola, who got by the defender. Thinks of Kube for the goal. Half time. Couldn't come a minute too soon. Could have come 10 minutes earlier, to be honest with you. Sporting's leading us 3 1, 3 none, 3 none. Thanks to nine goals, six on target. Cornet on the throw in. Navarro, back heel pass. Cornet, muff ball. Andre bombs it forward to Comie. Come on, youngster, show me something. Got uh, some help. Police Street's fouled. That's not even up for a review. He's just going to point to the spot. Are they really reviewing this? Could be on Joran. And he blows it by Rea. We'll get one back. That helps. Two more goals would be nice. Little past 60 minutes. We are going to have to make a couple of changes here. Tome is going to have to come off. Samba is going to come on for him. Tome is not having a good game. We are going to bring on Agadello for him. Police Street's not having a good game. We're going to bring on Jean Luc Vergol. Who's my. Who was the other part of the. Uh, Youth intake. He and Okomie were both rated really, really high. You know, we'll bring on Feldheim for uh, Ben Weston too. Let's get all the subpar players, sub, not the sub performing players off. Altair. Andre. Up to field. Gasparic. Off the crossbar. Forza. Distance. Oh, 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 it went in. Thought that hit the bar and went out. Okay, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. And Jordan loops it in. Knocked away, but Inamori should get there. Forza. Back to Osamba. Forza. And Jordan. Gilheim. Andre feeds in Jordan, who skies it into the crowd. Guys, do a football. No. 
Okay, but losing to Sporting by one is not bad. It really isn't. 12 shots, 7 on target for them, 8 shots, 4 on target for us. I don't like what I just saw. I'm going to blame the rain. We're going to take a look at the standings here in a minute. We lead the league in player development. That's interesting. Houston, most players currently playing in League 1. League 1. 13 players in top flight clubs. PSG is 12, Nance is 10, Monaco is 9. Okay. Where are we? We're currently in 31st place. We need to make a comeback. We need to mount a comeback is what we need. We need to save the game real quick, too. We'll come back for Everton and Lorient. We'll skip St. Gall. Well, hold on a second. Come back for St. Gall and Strasbourg. If we come back for St. Gall and Strasbourg, then we'd have to come back for Monaco. There's way too much of a line there. That's probably going to be a first, uh, a lower division club that we knock on wood. Shouldn't have any problems with. Strasbourg and Marseille are pretty close. That's what, you know, that's what we'll do. We'll come back for St. Gallen and Strasbourg. We'll skip the French Cup game, get into January, the transfer window. Come back for Dynamo Kiev and Feyenoord. Because those are going to be the last two deciding games of the Europa League. And figure out where we go from there. We saved the game already, I believe, but we'll save it again just to make sure. That's what we're going to do. We're going to come back for St. Gallen and Strasbourg. So, a really good win against Bordeaux, although we almost gave it away. A really good game against Sporting. They're, they're a better team than us, you can tell. We're getting there. You know, if, if we're here, Sporting is here. We're getting there. A couple more years, we'd be there eventually. But I like that we came back. I like that we started moving the ball around a little bit more. The defensive errors and the missed passes are just frustrating as all get out, but I'm reasonably sure I'm not the only player playing FM23 who's saying that out loud. Hopefully, it'll get fixed in the patch. So, Bengalan, Everton, Dynamo Kiev, Feyenoord. I'd like to win three of them. Winning two will help, but it won't help enough. So we need to win three. I doubt we'll sweep all four, though. But we'll have to wait and see. So, that said, a good episode for us. You know, splitting two games, a really good goal. As four is a 30 yarder. I thought it, it bounced out. Probably goal of the season worthy. We'll find out at the end of the year. In the meantime, if you have liked what you've seen and heard, please have a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments. Leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I thank you very much for watching.